And welcome back, everybody. 8 is your time. And joining us this morning, Katie Evans with the Texas Great Pyrenees Rescue. She's brought along a lot of puppies this morning. Hershey, Heath, and Taffy over here. Good morning, Good ladies. Morning. Yes, nice and Katie, who you. else did you bring along this here? This is Erin Steely. She's Hi, one of our Aaron. volunteers. She helped yes. get the puppies here this morning. Yes, and so this is part of a big litter, right? Correct. There were eight of them to begin with. They came in from West Texas, and they were not in great condition when we got them. Unfortunately, we lost one Aww. the first day but the other seven are now huge and doing very well. Yeah, so how old are these puppies? They're, They're huge puppies. <laughs> about 11 weeks old. Oh. So cute. They are, and they weigh about 20, 25 pounds a piece. And so they're only half Pyrenees, so Correct. they're not going to be as big as Correct. Pyrenees. Correct. Yes, we know their mom was Great Pyrenees. Okay. We have no idea what their dad was. Okay. So you said only 80 pounds. <laughs> only right? 80 pounds, yes. <laughs> right. Yes. So, and so if they were full bred Pyrenees, they would be between 90 to 150. 150. Yep. So it's a large breed dog, giant see, breed. Yes. Right. 80 is just small Pyrenees. Aww. That's why so, I tell people my smallest one is right. 80 pounds and they say 80 pounds. Yeah, yeah. 80 She's pounds. A one. And so tell us the importance <laughs> of neutering. So spay and neuter is kind of an issue. Um, we're not into puppy season yet. Puppy season usually hits us in the spring. And as of today, we have 58 puppies. Oh my goodness. Yeah, statewide. Um, 38 of them are in Austin. Okay. Um, and most of them are coming in mixed breed. Yeah. A lot of people are dropping them at the shelter because um, they have the mom and then mom gets pregnant and has puppies and then they don't want the puppies. So they just drop the litter at the shelter. And puppies in shelters, it's not good. No. They um, tend to get really, really sick and it costs a lot of people a lot of money. Kathy, what are we looking at mm -hmm. here? Pictures. So those are pictures of the puppies. So when we get big litters like this, they generally foster with one family, but they need socialization. So these are some more of our volunteers and their kids. We went out and played with the puppies and got them some. Is that Taffy? Yes. Okay. Social time. I thought she looked yes. familiar. Yep. Yes. And Erin, tell us some of the challenges with having great Pyrenees puppies. I mean, they're very cute, and but what are the challenges with having such big puppies? Well, the challenges are the same as most puppies, <laughs> is they've got a lot of energy and they need a yeah. lot of attention. And okay. they chew. Okay. But when they chew, they don't just chew on your tennis shoes, they chew on your couch and they chew on other things because they're okay. so big and they go for what they can get to. So Erin did have a mic on, she said, right, there's a, the, just like with any other puppies, they just mm -hmm. are babies and just need a lot of attention and just, right. Yep. And so you have a great big heart. Thank you, Erin, for volunteering <laughs> and just doing what you do. So, yeah, so what do you need? Is that a lot of, just you said 50 something, puppies right now. Yes, that is we've never had it. this many this early in the year, and that's all. We've got them all since the 1st of December. What do you attribute that to, <clears throat> Kathy? Um, it's just the lack of spaying and neutering. There's not um, okay. any real legislature or legislative uh, regulation for breeding, and so people don't spay and neuter because it costs money and they don't want to deal with it, or there's sometimes some cultural things about that, and so their dogs are left out in the country, and they just go, oops, that's pregnant, and they didn't want the puppies, so oh. if we could get spay neuter mandatory, it would it would help a lot right, with right. preventing these kids from ending up in need. Okay, all right. So if you're interested in Taffy here, look at this cute little puppy, or Heath, or Hershey. <laughs> please get in touch with the Texas Great Pyrenees Rescue. Their information on the screen there. But of course, if you're willing to check out other cats and dogs looking for a good home, just go to kv.com and click on the pet section of our website. Thanks, ladies, Thank for you. coming on. They are adorable and huge, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right.